Hey guys, it's Hobo here. And I got a bit more Terraria for you, because some people asked for some more, and I made some improvements to my world, so why not? So, uh, some people asked for more, so I decided, uh, as I was expanding my uh, Terraria knowledge and doing more things, um, I decided to build a new type of farm. Um, as far as I know, I haven't seen any YouTube videos for it yet, but I know people have already discovered this. And it's too bad if you already know about it. This is how it rolls. So I decided to build one of these, which is a meteorite head farm. Um, basically how it works is when you encounter a shadow orb um, and destroy it, of course, um, there's a chance a meteorite will fall and uh, basically what it does is just hit a part of your terrain and replace it all with this ore up here, meteorite ore. And when you have 50 of said ore in a, a certain area, it will spawn these things that attack you. So it's uh, quite the challenge to mine a full meteor out because these things are constantly attacking you. They're, uh, they're like more annoying demon eyes, I guess. They fly at you and I'll give you a demonstration of it at the end. But I will show you how to find a shadow orb and how to potentially cause a meteorite to happen. So uh, a shadow orb is quite obviously in the corrupt zone. Um, I just happen to have one on each side of my house, so pretty close. <laughs> funny because uh, I just fought off a, a blood moon before I recorded this video so I'm sitting on a bunch of copper I was gonna empty out my bank and show you guys what you can make from it but uh, anyways I know there is one up here and I ran out of mana and I'm gonna bitch slap these guys a bit uh, Ooh, mana give me that so uh, please make it up here nope oh, come on, come on. I believe in you, Jet Boots. I'm wearing the Cobalt armor. Come on. I might as well take that money. Anyways, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, um, you find a Shadow Orb by uh, jumping down into one of these deep chasms here. So, uh, to survive said fall, you would either need a Jet Boot, Rocket Boot, whatever. Um, a uh, what's it called IV whip or hook whatever it's called you know what I mean I'm sitting on a bunch of shackles because I fought off all the zombies or you will need um, a lucky horseshoe which you can find from floating island and basically this that just negates all fall damage so uh, once you have one of those or you can just make a big dirt staircase I really don't care how you do it um, you head down to one of these big chasms and you will see one of these, hopefully, they're in the bottom of each one, um, unless you already destroyed it. I just kind of cut this one open so we can uh, see it. And basically, when you destroy one of these, you get some loot, I think, and you can cause some events to happen. Um, every third one, I know for a fact, every third one you destroy causes the Eater of Worlds, which is one of the bosses you can face in this game to spawn. So I just happen to be on my sixth one right now, so I'm not going to destroy this because I don't feel like fighting him. But uh, basically, when you destroy your first or second one of these, it can cause a meteorite to fall, which I explained earlier will just replace blocks within a certain area of the corruption. You can just venture left or right. I don't really know um, what determines where it spawns, but you, it, you'll know when it falls. It gives you a message. And it's basically just an area with that glowing ore in it, and uh, those monsters will attack you, and you have to uh, fight them off at the same time as, uh, as you mine the ore so a good strategy to do that is to swing your pick facing the uh, heads and just mine behind you like that so you can kind of hit them away they have no projectile attack but I will show you said monsters that I keep babbling on about right now um, we'll just quickly teleport back it's getting dark it doesn't really matter so we'll head back to the, the building um, the only improvement I would make to this building I would make it a bit wider or improve the fighting area I guess because as of right now you'll see in a second um, it's hard to collect all the money you get so what I do is um, like I said you need 50 of the meteorite stuff in one area to cause them to spawn and you don't drop it you want to put it in your taskbar so once you get uh, your ore selected this is a 7x7 seven seven square you can pretty much make it in any format you want I just made it in a little cube but uh, 
this is 49, basically basic math, 7 by 7. So when I add this one in this little open slot here, um, the music's gonna change, as you can hear right now, and uh, these meteor heads will start spawning. And basically, when you kill them, it's just an infinite source of money. So this is a pretty good thing to have early game. Um, you can just, uh, there's one. Um, you can just smack these baseballs around or whatever. And it's an easy way to get money. Um, like, they drop silver pieces often. And yeah, there you go. So this is an easy way to get money if you're short on it. Um, they used to drop meteor ore, like the stuff above me. Um, I think they patched that, because I have yet to see anyone drop any ore. But, uh, this is just a good thing to have if you want money or just someone to fight. Um, like I said, I would make it earlier, er, sorry, wider, not earlier. Because when you hit them, they, they have a large knockback, and all the money kind of gets knocked outside. Like that. But then I chase them down. But that's basically how it works, they'll just spawn there. And when you want to defuse it, oh god, get away from me, you just knock out that bottom piece, on my design at least, and uh, you will have, they will just stop spawning. That's uh, not 50, so they'll stop spawning. I just store that last piece in the chest, just so I don't lose it or accidentally use it. And uh, that's about it. Um, you can make multiple ones of these if you want. Um, the armor takes up a lot of your meteorite, so uh, it's kind of like a trade-off. I have a, a half-finished set. I have the helmet and the body piece just because I decided to make this with the two meteors I farmed. But it's a pretty cool structure. It's easily be easily yeah, manageable. And uh, it's something you should consider building if you want money or if you just want someone to fight or if you just want to mess around and have something cool. But uh, that's about it. This is Terraria Home Update number two, I guess. And that's uh, see you guys next time.